Hi everyone, today I will play through an Institute main quest called the Battle of Bunker Hill, which can be received after completing Institutionalized and Synth Retention. I will leave timestamps and additional notes in the description below. Once this quest has been received, it is possible to inform the Railroad or Brotherhood of Steel. If you'd like to inform the Railroad, ensure that you've completed Tradecraft before receiving the Battle of Bunker Hill. And for the Brotherhood, ensure that you've at least completed Shadow of Steel. From my experience, informing the different factions will not have an impact on the ending of this quest. If you've completed the quests mentioned for each faction, or even beyond as may be the case for the Brotherhood of Steel, they will not be hostile, and in fact, they'll completely ignore you during the battle. Even if we shoot at them, they will not shoot back. This presents a rare opportunity to loot a great deal of valuable items, and doing so will not impact our standing with any of the factions. If you do want to pick up as much as possible, I recommend wearing a set of power armor, bringing a companion along with you, as well as some buff out if needed. A very useful suggestion that I received on my previous video is to shoot power armor pieces to eliminate their carrying weight, which you can then take from the inventory of the person wearing it. However, keep in mind that this opportunity is only present when the battle is taking place. After the battle, shooting at railroad members, for instance, will cause them to turn hostile. And if you return to base immediately, the entire faction will become hostile. However, at least in my own testing, fast traveling away and waiting several hours before returning to base worked as a solution to this issue, returning them back to normal. Lastly, whatever your decision may be for the synths at Bunker Hill, remember to be as respectful as possible in the final conversation of this quest if you wish to remain as a member of the Institute. In other words, during this final conversation that takes place on the rooftop of CIT, it is possible to be banished from the Institute by picking aggressive dialogue options. I will now show you my playthrough of the Battle of Bunker Hill. Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me. What would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. What happened? What have they done? They are in possession of technology that does not belong to them. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. You there. Caravan or Raider? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. These defenses are quite sturdy, yes? I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
you do that for us thank you excuse me you've given us another chance at life we won't forget it <clears throat> we'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone hey there thank you for sparing us your thoughts but these scenes only wanted to be free is that really wrong? Didn't have anything else. Not a problem. Let us continue our journeys. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here... I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. But... Why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate, an infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... 
Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? It's my fault. I wasn't able to complete the mission. I gave you this opportunity to prove yourself. Particularly to prove to the Directorate that you deserve a place here. That will now be significantly harder. There will be accusations that you deliberately sabotaged the mission. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen you now. It's time to go back in. After the quest is over, you can see that I'm still on good terms with all factions. And that concludes the Battle of Bunker Hill. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to help. But before I leave, I will show you the aggressive dialogue options that will get you banished from the Institute. I hope you enjoy it. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? I made a choice. I let the synths go free. Why? Why would you do something so... so stupid? I made the call. I don't have to explain myself to you. No, no, you do. You at least owe me an explanation. This was such a simple task. I just don't understand. I know you're capable of handling yourself. How can I expect you to represent the Institute if this sort of thing continues? I don't want to be involved in this, Sean. I want out. After all this, after everything you've seen, all that you've learned, you're just going to walk away. You may actually be completely crazy. Well, I suppose that makes your position quite clear, doesn't it? I had hoped we could be something like a family again. I hoped you shared our vision for the future. I'm afraid there's no room for sentimentality, Father. If you are not with us, then you are against us. Whatever you do going forward, do not interfere with the Institute's plans. I hope... I hope you can find some amount of peace. <laughs> I dreamed of you as an adult for so long. Here you are. And I'm so disappointed. Goodbye, Father.